Well, that big old beautiful kite you see right over there, that is a 14. No, excuse me, let me get my story right. That is an 8, my brand new 8. And uh, never been in the water until today. And I did a test ride with it in uh, fairly light winds. I should say light winds, probably didn't even, not even 14 mile an hour winds. But um, man, that thing, it, it turned, it's a switchblade, Cabrina switchblade. It turned on a dime. And uh, I can tell in big wind, like wind above even 20 to 28 miles an hour, that kite is going to do me a world of good. I can, I can get it trimmed, set the power on it. I practiced that today and uh, felt what it felt like to have it really depowered. And uh, yeah, I could, I could see myself surfing waves with that once I get used to it. It's just going to take a little time getting used to it. So yes, I did go out and uh, it was low winds. Um, I did uh, videotape uh, this guy that is from Cleveland, I think Cleveland, Ohio. And so he kited today and he lost the board. Now, I don't know if he wants me to say that on video or not, but we got to be real. Um, some people need a leash when they go out and he well he didn't give us enough information to let us know where whether he could uh ride without a leash or leashless or what we didn't have a clue so we just uh yeah we learned the lesson you see uh the royalton way down there there's two piles of rocks there's two islands man-made island it went past the first island past the second island and it came, well, I actually swam out to it and, and got it, encouraged it to come in. It would have came in, but it probably would have been down there by the uh, red, the building that is, uh, I need to learn the name of that building, but that was one of the last nudist uh, retreats in Jamaica. They still got, it's been over eight years ago, way before I even started coming here, they closed down. And they were literally the last one. There had been about three on the island. And so that was the last one. And they still, uh, they've opened up part of the hotel. And they've got, uh, they get a lot of guests from uh, Russia. Um, I don't know. I, I just know it's a lot of guests come from Russia. But they, uh, shit, what was I trying to say? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, sometimes you lose your train of thought. <laughs> it's all right. It's a beautiful day, and uh, I tested the eight. Let's stick to the story. <laughs> I tested the eight, and I'm real impressed with it in low wind. But that kite's not meant to fly in low wind. That, that's why my 11, I have 11, 11 meter kite, Cabrina Switchblade, that is brand new. It's a 2000, 2018, and it rides really well, and, and it, it, it the wind envelope for that one is really good. I can ride it up until about 22 to 25 mile an hour winds and then it gets just too overpowered even if you're depowered all the way. But that's why I got the eight and uh, so today was a test. Yes, I am using the same bar I used for the 11. And with Cabrina gear, if you test it out in low wind, and get familiarized with the settings you know what not to put it on and everything that bar will fit that kite there's no problem it it, it will work oh the little thing flipped over had a bunch of kids on it and it flipped over see that ain't the normal position for that thing well i met jim he's the anchor guy and he was already out there working on it when uh, he and I were sitting on the beach talking, he seen it do a like half flip like that, and he said, ah, I gotta go out there and check that anchor. So he's out there checking the anchor, but he'll get it fixed. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that thing would have lasted so long with this, the way the storm came in uh, last night. It was a, yeah. It made the beach really, and the water really discolored. But by tomorrow, it'll be back to color and hopefully the uh, wind will be up and I can go back out, out on the eight again. 
All right. Well, I'm gonna cut this one short and just say <laughs> another a kiting day. I mean, I didn't stay out long. I got the you'll see the stat in Strava. I, I, I went out for just a short run. I went really fast, and then I went really slow and kind of played around out at the reef to, you know, see how it does for surfing and um, kite surfing. You know, I mean, I, at, that you got to depower it, and then you can back stall it. You can flip it. You can loop it, and, you know, you try to stay on top of your wave. You do whatever you got to do, but uh, I'm just learning. I'm, I'm being honest. That's the twin tip board I'm riding. And um, it's not supposed to act like a, like a uh, surfboard, but hey, look, I'm a kite, uh, I'm a skateboarder. When I get a board under my feet, you know, I'm just, I'm just prone to try to do things. Uh, don't want to go talking too much because I ain't even jumping. You can't even see my fins when I call myself jumping. I'm sometimes I feel like I'm going four feet in the air, and. Uh, Brian tells me, buddy, I can't even see your fins. <laughs> All right, I got to go.